What is going on beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of the Narcissist Code. I'm your favorite self-aware narcissist, Mr. Lee Hammock, better known as Mental Illness, the diagnosed narcissist from TikTok and Instagram, YouTube, that uses my platform to raise awareness for narcissistic personality disorder and also, in the process, validate the victims and survivors of said disorder. Um, today's episode is going to be about how your compliments to a narcissist are arbitrary and sometimes why a narcissist just stops being the loving, caring person that you originally knew. So, a lot of times you get into a relationship with a narcissist, it starts with the love bombing phase where the narcissist is just, you know, just piling on the attention, piling on the affection, piling on, like literally piling on everything, piling on the cheek clapping, piling on getting it, letting you clap the cheeks, whatever, you know. It's just a, a piling on of emotions, like, and it goes really, really fast. And they're doing everything for you. Like, we're giving you everything you want and need. Everything that you could ever imagine in a significant other, you are getting right now. And eventually, that stops. Eventually, it's like I tell people, like, from the narcissist's perspective, the light switch goes off. The love switch goes off. The candle has burnt out. And we don't feel the same way that we originally felt. And that's literally just how it goes. Like, my mind, the way my mind works, I'm just like, I don't, it, I can't. It just turns, something turns it off. And we can't not turn it back on, like, for good. We can turn it on sporadically when we, whenever you're about to walk out on us or something like that. We can turn it back on in, the, in those moments. But other than that, it's like once it goes off, it goes off. You know what I mean? It, like, flickers. If, when we turn it back on, it's flickering, and then it goes off again. So when we get when a narcissist starts to let down let their guard down let our guard down and become who we naturally are the person that we naturally are not the person that's love bombing you when we, we become our real selves we start to devalue you and the stuff things start to stop like the love that you were getting at first stops the hugs you're getting at first stops the attention you were getting at first slows down and stops the affection you're getting at first slows down and stops. Even the the talking, the texting, everything slows down. Not to a lot. Of, it, it doesn't necessarily stop all the time, but it does come to a like it does slow down a lot. And the, and that's because like a narcissist feels like the deeper we get into a relationship, like especially if we get married, if we marry you, then the marriage is the end all be all. Cool, we are married now. You don't. I don't need to tell you I love you every day because we are married. But, me marrying you shows you that, right? I'm married to you. Why don't you why don't you tell me you love me anymore? Because I'm married to you. Like being married to you is me showing you that I love you. Is that not what I need to tell you all the time? Cause you no know, narcissist, it, everything becomes arbitrary. It's like it's just supposed to happen. It's supposed to be this way. That's why we don't feel like we need to compliment you anymore. You know what I mean? That's why we feel like once we get to a certain point, the compliments need to stop. And then if you get on the on the flip side of it, if you give us compliments and things like that, we don't take them. It doesn't really mean anything to us. It doesn't mean much to us because guess what? You're my wife. You're supposed to say that to me. You're my husband. You're supposed to say that to me. So it doesn't feel as good coming from somebody that you're married to or being in a long-term relationship. It doesn't just it just doesn't. So we can be leave, get ready to leave the house for a date or something like that. You're like, damn, honey, that suit looks good on you. Like, okay, cool, thanks. But then somebody else says that out in the restaurant or something like, hey, hey, man, that suit is fire. Like. Look, man, appreciate it. I was worried about how it looked, but thank you so much. Like, you made my night. Appreciate that, man. Like, appreciate that. I, I, I like this suit. I'm going I'm to keep, I'm going to continue wearing this suit just because you said it. Thanks. And you, you're over there mad. You're like, well, it doesn't have to be a suit. It can be a woman to y'all. Uh, you over there mad. It's like, wait, I told you I liked your suit before we left the house. You didn't, you didn't give me that kind of response. Like, it's like you didn't care. Like, it didn't matter. But like, and because it didn't matter. But, if you wouldn't, this is the thing about it. We don't. We acknowledge when, when you say it, like, okay, cool, thanks. You know, well, cool. You look, uh, thanks, thanks for telling me I look decent in this suit. You know, but if you wouldn't have gave us that compliment or told us that we look good in that suit, it would have been an issue. So it's always a, it's kind of what they call the, the double bond. Like it's an unwinnable situation for the person that's put into it. You know what I mean? It just is. It's an unwinnable situation with two choices. Like typically, it could be more than two choices, but two choices. Like. You is like you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. But you're gonna be damned regardless, so you have to do it. <laughs> in action is still a is still an act. It's not a choice. You know what I mean? So narcissists love to put you in a double bind situation with that type of stuff. So when you look at the double bind. I know my accent is southern North Carolina slang, y'all. B I N D. B is in boy. I is in I is in igloo. N is in Nancy. D is in dog. Double bind. Um, but yeah. And 
and on the, like I said, on the flip side of it, if you give us a compliment, it doesn't really mean much. And if you do, if you get dressed up, if you're feeling yourself, if you graduate college, if you get us, if you, you know, get some kind of something big happens to you or something good happens to you where you expect us to say something, he's like, honey, how do I look tonight? No, oh, cool. You look good. Uh, no, straight. You look fine. That's fine. You may just glance at you. That's fine. Because it's arbitrary. It is. Like, we, we feel like we're going out with you, aren't we? We're, we haven't divorced you yet, have we? We're still with you, aren't we? So you should know how we feel by us just being here. Like, why do we need to say it all the time? Why do we need to verbalize everything? Why, need, why do we need to touch you all the time? That's just the inner workings of my mind. I'm just like, okay, you should know how I feel just for the simple fact that I'm feeling it. I'm showing you by being here. You don't show me that you love me anymore. How is I wake up beside you every day. I come home to you every single night. How is that not showing you that I love you? Like, explain that to me. I can see if I didn't come home at night. I can see it. Like, I feel like you're asking for so much. Like, why are you asking for so much? And that's the mindset right there. I know it sounds weird. I know it sounds crazy. But that's literally the mindset. Because, like, because nothing, like, after, after a certain point in a relationship with a narcissist, in a relationship with one of us, not all of us. Of course, of course, I can't speak for every narcissistic person. I can't. I just speak in broad terms. I don't do the blanket statements. I just speak speak in broad, broad terms. But you get in a relationship with one, of, with one of us. Sometimes, like, there is a stopping point. Right? And, and no, I know what people are going to ask. They're going to say, like, what, when does that stopping point happen? Is there a timetable? Is there a time limit? Nope. There's not a time limit. There's not a, a, a time on it. You, there's not. It just depends. I always say it takes a night, at least 90 days to get to know someone for who they really are. So that's a good starting point right there, 90 days. 90 days, and it is, it's just not 90 days of going through the motions. It's 90 days of putting up boundaries, saying no, and doing things like that. That's when you can tell when the love bombing stops. You know, if they are not feel like, if they feel like they're not getting what they want out of you, you can, you can switch about, they'll, they'll switch up on you before you get in too deep. And sometimes they'll switch it up on you, and you still go in too deep because you then you can change them. Everybody want to be a fixer. Like, God, there's a reason you were not you were born without a hammer and nails, or some masking tape, or some some caulk. You're not fixers. Like you know, you weren't born with that type of stuff. You know what I mean? There's a reason you weren't born with a, a doctorate in in general psychology or personality disorders or trauma. You weren't born with that. <laughs> you know, there's a reason you have to go earn it. You were not fit. We're not natural. You can't be a natural fixer. You know what I mean? Uh, but like I said, it it, it, it it just gets to that point. I wish I could explain to y'all why it gets to that point, but it, it just does because my, my mind just kind of shuts off. And like, I feel like I've done enough. I feel like we narcissists, typically, we load up. You know, it's like carbo loading. It's like hyper. It's like, whoa, goodness. There you go right there. I love when I start talking and stuff comes to me. It's just like, you know, I call it like, it's like hibernating. It's like a bear getting ready to hibernate. I know bears like, narcissists are bears. They will maul you. Um... It's like a bear getting ready to go hibernate. It's like we load up. We load up in the beginning. We load up before the hibernation. We load up on love. Load you up on the feelings. Load you up on the relationship. Future fake you. Give you all these hopes and dreams. Fill you up. You know, fill you completely up. Fill you, get you full of it. You know what I mean? Get you to the point where everything is full and you are just feeling great about yourself and you, everything is going perfect. And we load up and we just live off the beginning of that. It's literally like hibernate, it's like a bear hibernate. We load, we load up in the beginning for the long haul. Cause we don't know when it's gonna end. We load up like I get you, man, don't you, So when we do that stuff in the beginning for you, you cannot say we did. We never did anything for you. You just can't say that. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's like love bombing and the devalue relationship with a narcissist is just like a bear hibernate, getting ready to hibernate. We go into it. We eat it. We, uh, we literally gather up all the love, affection, and stuff like that and just drop it on you in the beginning. And we just live off of that. We coast through it until it's time for the real person to wake up. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Oh, I don't get too, I don't get hyped too often, but that was a good analogy. Oh, that was a good analogy. Oh, yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Yes. You cannot tell me that. If you comment this and say, Lee, that was not a, I will block you immediately. That was just y'all. I'm not going to block you. But that was a good one. You cannot say, I love, I'm pat, so narcissistically patting yourself on the back for making it up. Yes, that was a good one. You cannot say that was not a good one. I'm going to, I'm going to fine tune that one. I'm going to do a TikTok video that later on. Watch that. Ooh. Ah. I don't get hype off there, y'all. I'm going down. Ah. But anyway, y'all, that's why it feels arbitrary. Narcissists like to load up in the beginning and just live off the 
live off, rest on their laurels from the beginning. Rest on their hibernation of food and love, like not food, and their love and affection stuff from the beginning. Just let it play out, let it run out. Anyway, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in for the, to another episode. I'm doing one on ones here, so y'all know I'm gonna hop over here in a second. I truly appreciate every single one of y'all. Mental illness is out. Peace.